What's good, internet? My name is Attack Slug, and welcome back to WWE 2K19, my career mode. And I should have known better. When you are a champion, there are three words you always must abide by. That is D-T-A. Don't trust anybody. Side match, Kurt. Who do you got for me? I'm not sure if you saw my text, so I want to let you know in person how disgusted I am with what AJ and Finn did to you at Fastlane. But but if it's any consolation, you'll get your chance at revenge on AJ when you face him for the Universe title at WrestleMania. Thanks, Kurt. Slugamania can't come soon enough. While it's true, it's damn true, you have to wait to get your hands on AJ Styles, I was thinking you could settle the score with Finn Balor tonight on Raw. Your call, though. Uh, of course I'm gonna go beat up Finn tonight. Of course. Why wouldn't I? We have a great matchup coming up next. We have one of our breakout talents versus Finn Balor. Gonna settle the score. And so I welcome you to a fine Saturday here on the program. Balor Club, etc., etc. And I guess most of what today's discussion is going to be is Crown Jewel. Even if I didn't actually watch Crown Jewel, I've seen enough of the highlights. I've seen enough of the tweets. I've seen enough of the discussion around Crown Jewel to kind of have a pretty reasonable opinion on what happened at that trash fire yesterday. Good God, and how it's going to affect things going forward to the next pay-per-view, which is Survivor Series in, like, three weeks. So, I don't know where to even start here. They had Hogan, and he opened the show with a promo because it was Hogan. There was plenty of pyro, because your international house shows have plenty of pyro, but not for us outside of WrestleMania, because we can't afford it, even though you signed billion-dollar TV deals, but that's a whole different Discussion, I guess. And there were plenty of matches on that show not even worth discussing because nothing particularly important happened during those matches. So let's actually discuss what important, what significant happened uh, on that show. Number one, they put the belt back on Brock Lesnar. Oh my God. Oh my God, they put the belt. The one thing. I'm like, I don't care what you do. Just don't do that one thing. They did the one thing. Now, you may know. Oh, nice, Ben. Getting chucked up there. Uh, you may know, or you may have realized, that UFC 230 is tonight, and DC is defending, I believe, uh, the belt, or he's fighting, or whatever, and I be obviously they want to have Brock there in the building at UFC 230 with the title over his waist, or over his shoulder, or whatever. They now, whether or not Brock, because Brock's going to do what Brock's going to do, will actually be there with the belt. I'm sure Brock will be there, but... Will he bring the belt? I have my doubts, unless they're paying him a bunch of extra to do it because Brock cares about one thing, and that's Brock's money. It's the only thing he cares about. Uh, I mean, I guess also Sable but and his kids, but generally, Brock cares about Brock's money. End of story. So, Brock's a champ, right? Which means, for your champion versus champion at Survivor Series, it is a rematch from last year, which was Brock versus AJ. Which last year was a pretty good match. Here's the problem. You may have noticed last night, there was no real match with Braun Strowman. It was five F5s. That was the match. And you know why? Because Brock's in I'm training for UFC mode, which is minimizing any and all bumps he takes, which is because he has to fight for real, and getting injured fighting for fake uh, would definitely impact millions and millions of dollars. So go back and look at Brock Lesnar versus Dean Ambrose at WrestleMania when he was in I'm getting ready to leave for UFC mode and the amount of minimal bumps he took in that match. That's what you can expect from Brock versus AJ. So probably not anywhere near what they did last year in that match. Very much, hey, I'm going to squash you because Brock. And to be fair, you could have, you know, Braun come in there and do something to kind of distract and you could have, you know, some... Who, Whoever AJ is feuding with caused some interference there to not have Brock bump, but pretty much Brock's not going to bump because he's getting ready for a fight and can't afford to get injured because Brock cares about Brock's money. So that being said, uh, we once again do not have the main belt on Raw. And it's like, wow, I totally miss Roman. Like, at least Roman was on the show with the belt. Whereas Brock is like, nope, just not going to show up. So he's booked for, I would imagine, in three weeks, right? 
He's booked for that. I would hope, anyway. Uh, and then after that, maybe the Royal Rumble? Maybe, because it's Brock, right? So once again, you don't have the main belt on your flagship show, so they're going to expect this Dean Ambrose-Seth Rollins feud for the IC belt to carry that show, because otherwise, what else can you really do? Which means that the arena thing saying, hey, Braun's going to fight Drew, was true, and they weren't omitting the fact that it was going to be for the belt, because it's not going to be for the belt. So there was that bit of business. Anyway, uh, just really just worst possible case scenario all around on that whole thing. I'm not pleased at all. It's a shame. It's a mess. Anyway, your World Cup to determine the best in the world happened at Crown Jewel. And I don't care who you are, any predictions done for that tournament were in vain. Because the best in the world is Shane McMahon. What? Like, I spent all yesterday editing video. Right? I had a five minute break to get away, away from editing video. I opened up Twitter and I see Shane McMahon holding the trophy and I'm like, what? Why? Now, those could argue that logistically, if you don't want anybody getting the heat for winning that tournament, the negative press heat for winning that tournament, oh yeah, give it to Shane, he's a McMahon, it'll be fine. Like that, I can sort of understand uh, in real life justification on why you would give it to Shane, but also it looked like a pretty much a heel turn for Shane. We don't really need another heel McMahon authority figure, but it looks like we're going to get it. And unfortunately, because of the injuries to Owens and Zayn, they can't be like, hey, we told you last year, we told you last year that Shane was not a good guy, and you didn't listen. You didn't listen! Why didn't we listen? So... There was that, and Shane McMahon is the best in the world. I don't... I'm not sure what you do and where you go with that, because I thought that you had a... What am I doing here? I thought you had a automatic, hey, whoever gets fired gets into a Shane feud, right? Or whatever. Like, you had other options for, whoa, there, with your Cactus Jack over the top rope deal. You had other options there for that finish. But instead, you had Miz get injured. And that, I would say, in kayfabe, makes Miz smart. Because Miz not wanting to get fired, so he fakes an injury. That, if they do it that way and explain it that, that way, uh, I totally agree with that particular justification. Because Miz is that kind of smarmy heel, right? So, I get that. Um, but also, again, pointless tournament for what? A roll-up. A major reversal. Pointless tournament for pointless reasons, and Shane is the best in the world at what he does. And unless they are bringing back CM Punk to feud with Shane, like, what are you even doing with this whole best in the world cup thing? It's dumb. It's real dumb. Anyway. Uh, and then your main event was a bunch of old dudes being a bunch of old dudes. And Triple H managed to tear his peck because, you know, he's not that young anymore. And, but... Even as such, even with Triple H not being that young anymore, he still finished the match because he's just that damn tough. Seriously. Multiple times in, in his career has managed to tear something and finish the match. Also, Finn Balor, will you stop reversing like everything I do? It's really obnoxious. And I'm not about it at all. Don't make me use that top rope elbow that uh, I've been using to finish some of these matches because these guys just will not stay down. Stay down, Finn. Stay down. Seriously. AJ, you stay there and don't even interfere, Mr. Styles. I don't want to hear it. Now, in better news for Survivor Series, we're at, at the very least, we're going to get... We're going to get Nakamura and Seth Rollins, which should be excellent. Should be. I'm not going to guarantee it, but man, on paper, that sounds amazing. So here's hoping that's really good. Also, I would certainly have high hopes for Ronda Rousey and Becky Lynch being a quality affair. But again, that remains to be seen. I have resiliency. I don't really need it right now. I haven't taken enough damage to really need to use my resiliency, if you will. Boom! I missed it. Missed it, missed it, missed it. 
thin. You have so many finishers. It's really obnoxious, to be honest. It really, really is. Let's try to finish the match on a slug sploder because Finn is just really difficult to put away here. And he doesn't have resiliency, so he can't be using that to kick out of this. Come on, man. Where's your other payback, Finn? Where, where even is that? Like, seriously. Seriously. I can't believe it. I just can't believe it. That was terrible. That was terrible. He's got three finishers here. Going to the top. Attack slug gonna fly. One more time. Onto that battler boy. And he moves. Because of course he does. Because why wouldn't he? Oh, he used his kip-up deal. He used it. I didn't want him to use it. I wanted to use a wake-up taunt and then do it that way, and that didn't work out at all. I need to keep my resiliency, because Balor is going to fly. He's going for that coup. De ra. And will he hit it? Will he hit it? I missed my thing. I still have resiliency, so I'm not that worried about it. Yeah, I'm still going to use that. Sorry, Balor. Sorry, Balor. He still has two more, though. He still has two more. This is a four-star match. He still has two more in a match with no real consequences outside of, hey, I wanted some revenge against Finn Balor, who is now moving in slow motion. To do a working hold this deep into the match, Finn Balor, are you serious? Are you serious, bro? I don't understand why this... Where is the red? Where... There was no thing at all there for vibrate There. Go! For vibrations. I don't know. I don't know anymore. Here. Don't reverse my salt shaker. Yes, Corey Graves. If that doesn't end it, I don't know what will. Seriously. Deep red, Balor. Deep red. You done. My poor bus, man. Look at that. My poor freaking bus, man. Let's go to the rank. For the last couple of days, all I have heard, why, Jay? Why'd you do it? Why did you and Finn turn on Buzz? Well, it's simple. There would be no Buzz if it wasn't for me and Finn. He wouldn't have achieved anything without us. When he was on SmackDown, he used me to get to the top. He didn't beat Nakamura in the Dome in Japan. He stole it from me. He didn't beat John Cena in a submission match. He used the calf crusher that he begged me to teach him. Then when he came to Raw, he was lost without AJ. So he became my burden. I had to bail him out week after week. And I was the reason he found his inner demon. I mean, that was Matt Hardy. He would have never gotten past Bray Wyatt, let alone beat Braun Strowman for the Universal title if it wasn't for me. But did I get any credit? No. Then we put everything aside to help him take on evolution. And what do we get in return? Nothing. Do you see a trend here? It's always about Buzz. He gets the spotlight. He gets the credit. He gets the title shot. Not us. He was never going to give us anything. So we had to take it. Buzz. People love to rattle off all your so-called accomplishments and talk about how you have had the fastest rise in history to the top of WWE. Well, your well. biggest accomplishment is still to come when you main event WrestleMania and you lose to the phenomenal AJ Styles. And this time, there is no one to bail you out. You're all on your own. Yeah. The only friend he still has had his brain scrambled by Bray Wyatt and hasn't been seen since. So I don't think he'll be much help. No, he won't. Now, with that being said, I kind of figured that you people might not understand why we did what we did. Oh, no. So I arranged a very special guest tonight who can attest to everything I just said. Because Buzz selfishly used him to get to the top just like he did to us. So let's bring him out here. Ladies and gentlemen, Buzz's former mentor, Baron Blade. No, 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 
I don't think AJ Styles could get any lower after oh, what he did to Buzz, but he somehow has by bringing out Why? Baron Blade. Why? We haven't seen or heard anything from him since he was revealed as the masked attacker in the match against Buzz in NXT. I wouldn't have shown my face anywhere after that either. He certainly looks like he's had a rough year. <laughs> I think that's just how he looks. <laughs> that's true. That's very true. But he'll back me up because he's been constantly texting me every freaking week on, on the phone saying, no, out here I, tonight, still, Baron. I still like you, Buzz. Can you tell everyone how Buzz used you to get to the top? Then he left you a broken man. I mean, he cost you everything, didn't he? No one will work with you anymore. You've lost your indie promotion, your house. All because of Buzz. That's not exactly how everything went down, AJ. I was the one who attacked Buzz yeah. after his tryout match and cost him his shot at WWE. Fact. None of that other stuff would have happened if I hadn't done that. Uh, hold on. What are you saying? Don't you want to talk about all the terrible things Buzz did to you? I mean, how he left your life in shambles? I'm sorry, but I can't stand out here and bury my former protege. So Not stop. a day goes by where I don't wish that I could take back my actions. And honestly, I deserve everything that's happened to me because of it. I didn't buy you a plane ticket so you could come out here and tell everyone how great Buzz is. This wasn't the deal we had. If I had told you how I really felt, I would have never gotten this opportunity to speak the truth. What you and Finn Balor did to Buzz was far worse than anything I did. At least I had good intentions. So I just want to say I couldn't be prouder of everything Buzz has accomplished. And I can't wait to see him beat you at WrestleMania and take back his Universal title. Punch him in the face. I think I've heard just about enough out of you. Punch him in the face. Never turn your back on a heel. AJ and Finn Balor are attacking a defenseless Baron Corbin. So defenseless, he's an ex wrestler. He's so defenseless. AJ's going to break Baron's ankle with the cap He's got to do something. Oh, there's somebody I was not expecting to do something. Maybe there's hope for these two after all. Oh, come on. Like, I get it, it's the redemption story, but still, I've never liked Baron Blade, so it doesn't quite connect for me. Jamal. Jamal. I'm not gonna shake his hand. Oh, here we go. Let's crack a lacking. No, I don't want to. I really don't want to. Oh, I get an option. I get an option. Well, I am a man who is true to my word, and that is, I don't like Baron Blade. Never. I'll do it all on my own. Kick him in the face. Kick him in the face. Nope. Sorry. No salvation. Buzz has obviously no decided he's not interested in reuniting with Baron Blade. It was one thing for him to save his former mentor, but it might have been a step too far to expect forgiveness. Next week. You might be wondering why Finn is out here tonight with a gift. Well, it's not for me. It's actually for someone we had some battles with recently. No, it's not for Buzz either. His gift is coming at WrestleMania when I give him the gift of defeat. This present is actually for Triple H. So, Triple H, if you wouldn't mind, come out here so we can give this to you. It's time to play the game. Why would you have a cutscene followed by a cutscene? What could this possibly be Seriously. all about? I know it's not a birthday gift. Triple H's birthday is in July. Why would you know that? <laughs> I'm a historian. All right. Come on, now they're sitting here for the past, like, five minutes watching your cutscene, so can we wrap things up today We're sitting here for a half hour come on now Mr. H's 
I just want to say we may have had some differences recently. But that was due to being caught up in Buzz's selfishness. We have clear heads now, right, Finn? Much clearer. So just to make sure we're cool, we got you this gift. Is it a tie? Go ahead. Take it. They got him a referee shirt? Oh, no. It's a referee shirt. Special guest referee. We even cut off the sleeves so you can show off your guns. What's this all about? Well, we were thinking, since you really don't like Buzz, we're positive you want to do everything in your power to guarantee he doesn't get the universal title. You could be the special guest referee at WrestleMania. So what do you think? I think that's a great idea. All right. Yes. Too sweet. Yeah, and your Blake with the with Buzz too is sweet. no stranger yep. to adversity, but he's got a tough road ahead of him <sighs> if he wants to regain his title. Well, let's be honest, guys. The road he's on is headed for a dead end. So not only does the showcase feature a special guest referee match, but the my career features a special guest referee match, and yet the overall game does not have that as a match option. What are you doing, 2K? Seriously. WrestleMania? What? That was fast. Tonight at WrestleMania, Buzz walks alone onto the grandest stage of them all to try to regain his universal title. Try is the key word here, because I know he's overcome long odds before, but I just don't see that happening tonight, especially with Triple H as the guest referee. Well, all right then. I guess that means tomorrow will be the final episode of uh, my career. If you're not going to end it at WrestleMania, then where would you end it, right? So I guess tomorrow... We're going to wrap things up, possibly, potentially, hopefully, on this My Career series. I'm Attack Slug. Thanks for watching. More videos every day. I'll see you next time right here on this channel. And I'm out. Can't believe what AJ and Finn did to you. Wasn't right. Like I've been saying, I'm here for you. I don't care, Baron Blade. I do not care. Kurt Angle, shocked at what AJ and Finn did to you after your match versus Evolution. But I have some good news. You'll get a rematch versus AJ at WrestleMania, because this is the road to Slugomania. Why, AJ, why? That is a question we are all asking today after what happened at WWE Fastlane. I still can't believe what transpired, uh, Hood. Hey, I, I was shocked like everyone else, but I get it, okay? What? When it comes down to it, WWE is every man for himself. It's like my old buddy Stone Cold Steve Austin used to say, DTA, don't trust anybody. Oh, I already come seen this video. on, Hood. I already Buzz said? had built up this relationship with AJ and Finn for months. They literally had just teamed together to defeat Evolution. And you're going to sit there and say what they did was justified? AJ Styles had the money in the bank briefcase, okay? What? <laughs> What was he forced to do? Just hang on to it forever and never cash it in? I understand he had the briefcase, but you don't do that to someone uh, who's supposed to be uh, your friend. Cash it in before or after uh, your alleged friend wait, 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 is champion. Wait, wait, is, is there some kind of money in the bank briefcase rule book that I'm not aware of? No, but it's just a matter of basic human decency. Look, it's all about that universal title, okay? AJ Styles has a family to support, and if he's champion, that means he can support his family better and longer. Wendy. Well, then how do you explain Finn Balor's actions, huh? What does he get out of all this? I don't know. Maybe AJ Styles promised Finn a future title shot. Maybe, yeah. Maybe Buzz had, had gotten on Finn's nerves. I'm sure we'll find out more in the coming days. Yeah, well, I, for one, can't wait to hear an explanation from these snakes. That's what they are, snakes! Hold up a second. AJ Styles just posted... Oh, yeah. He said he'll, 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 he'll address the WWE Universe tonight on Raw, and that he has a very special guest to help him explain his actions. What? Who in the world could possibly help him explain his actions? There is no good explanation. I think you need to calm down, Pete. You're acting like AJ and Finn turned on you or something. Well, I, I, I just can't believe you can continue to sit here and support these guys. Do you need to take a minute to cool off? No, I'm fine. Pete Clark has finally lost it, ladies and gentlemen. Let's take a quick break, and we'll be right back.